right? And okay, as why, almost, are we, why are we paying $2,500 for what you're doing? And we are just at the beginning of our class talking about the study plan, right? So very important to have one. One of the things that I did to pass the exam, um, actually, before even before that, funny story, I was uh, looking for a certification on in the industry for pain test because, you know, I need to teach my partners and my customers how Cisco security products work. Right. So I talk about firewall, about CASB, about DLP solutions, EDR, XDR, anything DR. I mean, there's a lot of different products that Cisco sells. Uh, the, the portfolio is just huge. Right. But I need to teach them how the product works. And also I need to teach them how to sell those products to their customers so they can uh, talk about the main differentiators and not, you know, about just the features. Uh, we need to transform uh, the, the technical speech into something that is business related, that is going to solve a customer issue and they're going to be uh, more, you know, into buy this specific product. So I was thinking about it and what are some of the things of the things that I can learn to actually put into practice instead of going like, okay, this is our next generation firewall and this is the first screen and here you're gonna see uh, the dashboard and you're gonna see you know this menu and that information. That's a boring demo and it's very uh, demonstrative. I I'm not talking about what actually matters, right? which is security after all. So I, I was thinking, what, what is the best way to, just, to, to teach something uh, than you know, going and actually showing how the product really works? So I was looking for demonstrations on how can I uh, simulate an attack and actually show the, the product working and performing and stopping this, this type of attack. So I was looking on the industry to see what are uh, the certs available that can guide me through uh, learning that kind of stuff. And I found CompTIA Pentest Plus. I'm sure you guys are also familiar with that. I mean, there's a lot of CompTIA certifications. The Pentest Plus is one of them, right? So that is about uh, red team and penetration tests. And that's something that I was looking for. And I start to study for Pentest Plus in February, earlier this year. In the middle of the studies, I was like, okay, I need to see some Wireshark and some uh, packet capture and things like that. And I wasn't very much familiar uh, with it. And to be honest, it, it's been a while since I don't uh, talk about those uh, topics and about networking. So I got myself in a moment that I realized that I need to review some topics from networking because, you know, it's been a while since I don't uh, study about uh, OSI model and how, uh, uh, you know, those packet, uh, packet capture works, sniffing, that kind of stuff. So I went back to uh, study uh, for Network Plus, but not to get the certification, just to get some materials to review what is necessary to actually pass the Pentest uh, Plus exam. After five or six days, I realized that I just did like 60% of the Network Plus uh, material uh, by studying and reviewing that. And then I just decided, why not take the exam? I mean, what is the best way to actually know uh, that you know that stuff if you take the exam and you pass it, right? So I took Network Plus, I pass it and I went like, okay, I'm prepared to, to go back and resume the studies for the Pentest Plus certification. But I realized back then, uh, in still in February, two weeks later, that CompTIA also has A plus and that scheme of uh, stackable certs, right? So I now have Network Plus 
But if I do pass the A plus exam, I'm going to create a new certification, a new stack. So I thought, why not? I mean, I passed Network Plus, A plus can't be that hard, right? I mean, it's one uh, on the uh, difficulty level, it's one earlier, right? It, it's for uh, a help desk role. I mean, th there's two exams, A plus, uh, uh, the core one and core two exam. One it's for software, the other it's for um, hardware. So I study one week for the first exam. I study another week for the second exam and I passed both in two weeks of study. So not that hard. So now I got A plus, Network plus, and I remember that we also have Security plus. So I thought back then, why not taking the Security plus exam as well? So I study another 20 days for the exam and I do have some experience on the field. So it wasn't that hard for me. There wasn't uh, you know, any new content. So I, I was familiar uh, with most of the topics. I just needed uh, to review and to take some, some questions, some practice questions to see uh, how it works. And I could pass on my very first attempt on the exam. And now <laughs> after that, you know, taking on that strange order, like Network Plus went back to A Plus, then Security Plus. Now I'm, I'm back to study for Pentest Plus, which was my very first objective. And on, on you know, on the middle of that path, I was hired by CompTIA to become an instructor for the Security Plus uh, exam. So, yeah, uh, you know, it's, it's strange path, <laughs> strange study plan, but I uh, committed myself to pursue those certifications and I'm going to do all of them. I'm going to do Security Plus. I mean, I did Security Plus, but I'm going to do Pentest Plus. I'm going to do Cloud Plus. Uh, CISA, CASP, all of them, and become the CompTIA expert with all the available stacks. So that's my plan. And how I'm, I'm going to achieve it? Well, I do have a, a spreadsheet with all the videos that I want to learn. But one of the main things that you actually need to learn before any technical concept is actually how do you learn? I mean, what is the best way to consume information that you're going to remember later, right? Uh, there's a lot of people that uh, study, but there is very few people that actually learn how to study. I mean, it, it's a different thing, right? We all have uh, some kind of, um, maybe I can say like an easiness to consume um, um, things like, you know, video or reading a book. I, I'm not much of a, a reader, but I do, you know, try to, to read some books uh, on the field uh, that I do like and enjoy. For example, I was reading that book, which I definitely recommend. It's called Hackable by a guy named uh, Ted Harrington. It's a very cool book that talks about how to do application security on the right way from the very uh, first moment of application development. So it's very focused on the applications uh, side of things. But, you know, I, I have a lot of uh, problems to learn from books. So I do like to watch, but I really enjoy doing things, you know, uh, on, on a very practical way. So for me, what uh, really works is actually doing all of them. I need to read. I need to watch videos. I need to practice with labs. And also, I need to gather all that information and try to, in a simplified way, teach my wife because she's not from the IT industry. She doesn't know anything about security. And if I explain something to her that she can understand, then I know that I, I learned, I understand, and I can pass that information along to you know, a, another uh, person, even if it's not from the IT industry. You know what I mean? So that's very important uh, to establish your study plan so you can also establish the correct uh, expectations when you're going to be ready to take the exam. So that doesn't become something that's going to frustrate you in the future if you take the exam and you happen, you know, to, to fail on your first attempt. Uh, that happens 
uh, in 2014, when I did my very first certification, Cisco CCNA, which is not an easy exam. Uh, there's a lot of practical concepts and, and labs on the exam that you need to perform. Even on the associate level, I failed uh, three times on the exam. And I actually had uh, back on the CSAP program, just uh, four attempts to pass the exam. So I passed on my last attempt. Uh, and I mean, it, it was very, very tough, uh, but you know, uh, look, look uh, where I am now. I'm still working at Cisco. I'm still uh, successful. I won twice uh, a, a prize of top 10% engineers uh, from, the, from the company. And we are uh, basically 7,000 uh, engineers at Cisco worldwide. So I'm, I'm very proud of that and of myself uh, to not, uh, you know, gave up when I failed the first time, the second time, the third time. It happens. I, I fail uh, a lot of times on my exam attempts, but I never give up. So that's the, the real secret uh, if you want to study and if you want to also be successful in your career. All right. So uh, establish your plan. Uh, establish uh, how many days per week you're going to study. And remember, uh, it, it doesn't work if you go like, I'm going to study every day. Man, that's going to be, it's going to be painful. I mean, you, you need some time to do other things. Uh, you guys uh, go to work, right? Or you work from home, whatever. But work is an activity. It's not a place anymore, <laughs> right? But you need that time to dedicate to yourself, to your, to your, your work, your hobbies, your extra, you know, activities. Uh, it's not only about the exam or, you know, the, the, the work itself, right? So seven days per week, I mean, it's tough. I, I, I do it. I'm not going to be, uh, you know, that guy, but I don't recommend it. Uh, it it's going to be tough to actually uh, learn and, and keep that uh, learning information with yourself. So establish how many days and how many hours per day you're going to study. I would say that three to four hours, it's a good uh, amount of time. More than that, it's going to be tough, right? Uh, this course and you know that lecture uh, from CompTIA is not going to be only it. You guys gonna uh, are, are going to practice with the materials that we have. So every day we're going to do some questions and I'm going to ask those questions to you guys and we are going to answer together. And if happens to, you know, get the, the question wrong, we're going to talk and we are going to discuss why that was the answer and why the others uh, are not the answer. Uh, we are going to go through uh, all of that stuff as well. Uh, labs are important. I do understand that it's going to be tough to, you know, find time during the week to perform the labs, but we have this, and I guess you guys received that. If you can confirm to me, everybody uh, received uh, the syllabus yes. from the course. Yes, yes. got it. So here we have like the, the lessons per day, what our activities are uh, expected from you guys, uh, you know, from homework. Uh, I, I do um, ask you guys to uh, read it carefully uh, later and try to follow uh, at, at least for the upcoming uh, weeks uh, that study plan. So this is a very structured study plan, but that's not enough to pass the exam. I know it's kind of frustrating to hear that, but this course is like uh, not a refresh, but I'm not gonna have time to go in deep uh, to every topic. You know, I'm going to choose based on your feedback and also based on what I think it's more difficult to, uh, to understand and to learn, right? Based on, on the exam questions. So it's very focused on passing the exam, but I'm also going to give you guys some real world information, which I think is going to be uh, very helpful on, in a daily basis, you know, uh, for, for your career. 
if I may. Okay, so that's basically our plan. Today, we're going to talk about lesson one and lesson two. Hopefully, we can uh, knock that out from today. And tomorrow, you're going to go uh, right to lesson three and lesson four as well. All right? We're going to do the questions together, but I'm going to show uh, right after this all the material that we have online, uh, the performance-based questions, the games that we have, the... Uh, the cards that are actually another way to learn. So we have a lot of different things and hopefully you can use all of them to have, you know, this variety of resources to help you learn. And don't forget the, that, that information that you're consuming, which is, you know, very easy to, to happen. All right. So, uh, yeah, determine, uh, what are your objectives, uh, Determine your milestones, like reading X pages per day, take X numbers of, of questions from the practice exams, um, from any other sources. Don't take only that source, uh, you know, as your single source of truth. Uh, watch videos from YouTube. There, there's a guy that I that I really enjoy, that I think has, uh, you know, very uh, cool videos on YouTube and for free, uh, which is called Professor Messer. I'm not sure if you guys know about him, but I definitely recommend to watch uh, his videos later as well, following uh, the, the lessons from the classes. That's gonna help you uh, to really absorb uh, uh, that content from uh, the lectures here, right? And okay, as why I was are we why are we paying $2,500 for what you're doing? That's a very good question because I'm going to show you uh, the short path. I'm going to give you the lecture from my experience and with all the resources that we have here from Coptia. But what I'm saying is don't take just one resource. You know, uh, one is not enough. In security, we always uh, going to talk about redundancy. So, yeah. Uh, read books, uh, watch videos from CompTIA, from my lectures, from YouTube. Go and consume all those resources because on that way, you're going to receive more information and you're not going to forget that information if you do practice and if you do uh, watch uh, several other contents as well. Does that make sense? Well, I know about Professor Messer and to be honest, if I knew this course was going to be about pretty much the same thing, I wouldn't have bought it. I mean, there is uh, several other courses out there uh, that are free, that are paid. Uh, we do have our differentiators, uh, which are the content that I'm going to share and I'm going to show that you're not going to find anywhere else. And you are consuming those resources right from the source, right? Uh, we are the ones that do the exam. So... You're not going to find, you know, better resources uh, in any other place out there. The, the thing that I'm saying is there's a lot of free resources and there's also the paid resources. Use both, right? Why, I mean, why not? If there are resources that are free, leverage them as well. Uh, that's going to help you to really uh, see different points of view uh, of this Security Plus topics that we are going to learn right here. Okay. So as I was saying, life happens. I mean, don't worry if you're not 100% on, on your study plan, on your schedule. Program yourself accordingly to get back on track. If you happen to you know, miss uh, a day and you can't study and you can't review the videos or do the practice questions or anything like that, 